figured out how to do this on YouTube. Hold on, hold on. Did I miss something? He's going live. Yeah, yeah, real quick. It won't be that long. Make this quick. Anyway, what's up, everybody? All right. Where do you feel it? I don't know. I feel it here. Oh, I'm seeing some kind of... Oh. What's the occasion? It's the, it's the trial eve. It's the night before the trial. I oh, hope they don't pop. All that milk wasted. All right, can you guys hear me? Are we live right now? Do I have the settings on? No, it's the right date. I just got a couple of announcements to make here, people. Just a couple of announcements. I can't tell if we're live. I see 57 of you people. Are we live? Can you guys see me? Let me see. We are good. Somebody said good. Let me know if we're live. I see 54. Okay, you guys can see me? Okay, cool. All right. Yes, daddy. <laughs> Stop it. All right. All right. So anyway, um, well, impromptu. Oh, now people are strolling in here. Now they come. Ah, oh, now we're up to two twenty six. Okay, we're good. We're good. So funny story. I've been trying to go live on YouTube with my phone for a while now, and it just doesn't let me. And I just had it on the wrong. I was going live the whole time. It was just unlisted. I would go live, and it would be unlisted. I had it in the wrong setting. I had the wrong default on. So anyway, um, yeah, this is a uh, little impromptu live I'm doing here. Quick announcement. So uh, tomorrow, you guys might not have seen this, uh, but the, the murder trial of Karen Reed starts tomorrow. Big day. Um, and I've been invited on tomorrow night at uh, 10 p.m. A news channel called News Nation. Have you guys heard of it before? And they want me to go on at 10 o'clock. And that obviously conflicts with the live show. But I was thinking about it, and I'm like, you know what? I'd rather wait until Wednesday to do the show this week just because we'll get – Two more days of interest. We'll see what happens tomorrow, and then whatever happens Wednesday, we'll get two days of content. You know what I mean? So I decided to do that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going on News Nation tomorrow night at 10 p.m., so that should be interesting. Um, they say it's a cable TV network, whatever, so they have a YouTube. And I don't know. So we'll have it all. So, But I'm going to wait to do my show until uh, – and I'm also meeting Larry Foreman tomorrow. The guy from uh, the DUI guy. So I'm meeting him tomorrow. So I just don't want to rush it tomorrow night. Um, so, yeah, we'll have it tomorrow night. Yeah, with Ashley Banfeld. Yes, correct. Yeah, I'm going on with her tomorrow at 10. That's correct. Ashley Banfeld. I'm going on with her tomorrow. Everybody in the comments is saying it. So you guys do know her. That's great. That's great. So I'm going to be on there tomorrow. If you guys didn't read the New York Post today, the article in there, I was interviewed for that about a week ago. A uh, reporter by the name of Dana Kennedy did a great job. I thought her story was fantastic. And the New York Post hit all the right angles. So as much as she could in a short amount of time, at least, you know. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah, Larry is coming to town tomorrow. I'm supposed to meet him for dinner tomorrow. So that should be fun. Uh, and a couple of the turtle riders will be there. We know News Nation. Great. You guys know it. So that's awesome. So, you know, it was a good opportunity. They, they seem really excited to have me on. So I'm going to do it. You know, definitely going to go on there. And I have a feeling I'm going to be getting a lot of phone calls once this trial starts. A lot of phone calls. So I'm going to take every opportunity I can. Go on News Nation. Go Commando. Do not wear underwear. Okay. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know if I'll tell them that. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, so that's... um on uh, Wednesday I'm going to be doing it. Now, I'm going to be doing a stream tomorrow. I've got to set up the stream because um, I can't, I don't, I'm not wasting my time going to these hearing the trial dates if I can't get in. If I don't, like if my stalker shows up and kicks me out. Uh, so I'm just going to play it safe and, uh, you know, wait till, I have a hearing next week on April 26th to amend this order so that I can attend uh, the Karen Reed trial or just vacate it outright because this individual is clearly not in fear of me. So uh, we're going to try to do that. But uh, yeah, anyway, what do you think of Krusty's GoFundMe? I mean, doesn't surprise me. Let's just put it this way. If it, <laughs> my name being attached to anything is big business. Like if, if, 
that's all it really took. People don't care who they're donating to. They just know like, okay, this individual is per lied and put Turtle Boy in jail. <laughs> take my money. Shut up and take my money. That's all they care about. So yeah, that's basically all that is. It means nothing. Uh, the facts speak for themselves. You know, I don't know how her lawyer, if she gets one, is going to explain how, why she called me at two in the morning that night if she's afraid. I don't know that why she's texting me. I mean, there's a lot of things there that don't add up. But uh, yeah, so yeah, we'll, we'll be streaming that. I don't know how it's going to work. I've heard a lot of rumors that like uh, the family isn't allowed in tomorrow. I've heard that no witnesses are allowed in the whole trial. I don't know how it works. We're going to see a lot of shit tomorrow about like, what about the protests? Like, uh, where are those going to be allowed? The Dedham police put up some thing today about like, you can protest here. It's like, mm, we could protest anywhere outside of 200 feet without going to jail. I mean, we could protest anywhere because it's a free country. But, uh, you know, if you don't want to get arrested and end up in jail like I did, then, uh, you know, you should wait outside the 200 foot zone just to be safe while we try to litigate that. Yeah. So yeah, News Nation is live. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on here and say that he is fearing. Yeah, something like that. Butt dial gate. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the crusty shit is just pathetic. It's just wild. Like she's on a bender lately. Clearly is very upset that she's going to be arraigned a week from a week from Wednesday on felony witness intimidation charges in Lemons or District Court. I got a busy week next week. I got court on April 23rd in Norfolk Superior Court in the courtroom next to Karen Reed's courtroom. So while court Karen Reed is, has her murder trial going on, I'm going to be in the other courtroom where Judge Squires Lee freed me, even though Grant Smithella said I was going to go back to jail. Uh, I'm going to be back in that courtroom for a pretrial hearing for these bogus witness intimidation charges. And uh, yeah, then on Tuesday, um, yeah, that also we'll have that. And then the next day I have the crusty panties thing at Lemonster. Her, she's being arraigned on witness intimidation charges. And then I'm back in Dedham District Court next Friday for the hearing to amend the restraining order. You know, so anyway, um, yeah. So yeah, that, that's about it. So tomorrow I just want, it's a big night, man. This is it. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Jury deliberations going on. Some people have said, the Rockers told me it would be like two to three weeks. That would be crazy. And I've read some articles about how like it, experts think this jury is going to be very hard to put together, you know, put together. And you know what? Mission accomplished. If that's, you know what I mean? Like we got the word out. Oh, you're tainting a jury pool. No, we're educating. We're educating the public. That's what we've done for the last year. We have educated the public about the injustice taking place inside Norfolk Superior Court. We have educated the public. We have done our, you know, we've all done it. You know, you guys put those QR codes everywhere for framed. We got that billboard in Foxborough. It's still up. What a great value that was, huh? Everyone's heard about this. So they're going to have a tough time finding 12 people. And even when they do, they will find 12. And when they do, they're going to be, 12 open-minded people and I'm not the least bit worried about them because any open-minded person who looks at the facts of this case realizes Karen Reed is completely innocent and they're going to vote not guilty, period. It's, that's just how it works. Oh, you guys are intimidating the jury. We don't want to intimidate the jury. We don't need to intimidate the jury. It's not what we're about and we don't even need to do that. We don't want to be seen by the jurors. We want to be seen by the media. We want to be on TV. We want the whole world to see this injustice. That's what Martin Luther King did. He wanted to be on TV. You know, he made sure that the world saw what was happening in Birmingham and Montgomery and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. And honestly, Vinny had Vinny Politans. He had the pink tank on today. Everyone was wearing pink ties. Everyone. I'm telling you, that's that. You, that was not a coincidence that Vinny Politan was doing that. Not a coincidence at all. So. Anyway, um, yeah, anybody have any questions or anything? I just wanted to come on and say hello. Big day tomorrow. Obviously, very excited about what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, just the start of it. I mean, I have a lot of questions how this is all going to work. Picture all the media that's down there. There's already a crazy amount of barriers and shit down there. 
I gotta go to that. I gotta go to the jail tomorrow because I got like thirteen hundred bucks in my Securus account. I never cashed that. I gotta go grab that. But uh, yeah, I drove by the jail today, and it was weird. Like going by there, I'm like, oh shit, that's where I did my wreck for like sixty days straight, and I ain't never going back there. And I'll never forget the people who put me in there ever, ever. And my my success will be my ultimate revenge. That's all that matters. But the grant debate is supposed to drop tomorrow. I think you guys can probably figure out what happened in that. Yeah, rumor says Mr. O'Keefe is sitting on Karen's side. So let me address that real quick. Uh, I have no no way to confirm that whatsoever. Uh, I saw Sean of the Go I was messaged about it on Saturday. Somebody messaged me that, and I couldn't confirm it. So, um, you know, I didn't run with it. And then I saw Sean of the Gulf posted today. And so I shared it, and I just said, I just to be like, I can't confirm this, but, but, if that were to happen, if if John O'Keefe's father were to want to sit on the side, if he has requested to sit, first of all, I don't. It's not like Fenway Park. I don't think there's like assigned seats. He can sit wherever he wants. I don't even think he has to ask the court officers where to sit. But man, what a powerful, powerful thing that would be. Obviously, uh, if he were to sit on that side, and again, I don't know. I, again, but I don't. Honestly, I would have preferred if it was just. If it just happened on its own and there was no posting about it, I think that would have been better. Because now it gives, if he actually was considering doing that, it gives them time to talk him out of it, you know, whatever. Maybe, you know, it's like maybe it doesn't show up. Who knows? And it would have been cool if it just kind of happened on its own. So, but, you know, it's been posted. Internet, you can't stop people from talking about shit. So it's been posted. And it'd be, if he does, wouldn't that be a powerful statement? But we'll see. We'll see. Um, okay. Anybody else? Anybody have any comments or anything? Still doesn't feel like the either side is ready for this to start. I know. It doesn't feel like it. With this three-day weekend and everything today. I was so sick yesterday too, dude. I woke up yesterday puking my brains out. I puked all day. I didn't do anything yesterday. I just laid on the couch for like 11 hours. Like just sat there. And uh, didn't eat a goddamn thing. My daughter had a cheering competition. It couldn't go. I was too sick. So I stayed home with my son. He's the one that got me sick. Remember he got dismissed from school last week? He puked on him. Twice he got puked on himself. Wednesday and Friday. And then I, I, I was all pukey yesterday too. But it's like a 24-hour thing. I'm good to go now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I heard O'Keefe's parents are separated. See, I don't like shit like that. I don't like the rumors, guys. You know? I don't like the rumors. But I'll tell you one thing. I do know that, like... Um, I do know that um, Karen was close with, you know, somewhat close with M Mr. O'Keefe. So hopefully he's waking up to the reality of it all. Because how can they not? How can they sit there in court and hear these bombshells week after week and just think nothing of it? Like, how can it have no effect on them? Come on. We got a little nugget from Unetti about the dash cam. They were planning to section Karen. Didn't know that. Um, anyone else have any questions? All right. Um, all right. So glad you're going to News Nation. Oh, I'm glad you guys have all heard of it. Looking forward to Ashley Banfeld. Did you like jail food? It wasn't bad. I missed the jail lunch. I missed that roast beef lunch. It was pretty good. Um, has he been to many hearings? He's been to a lot of hearings, but he, he also misses some too. How many people do you think will show up outside the courthouse? I don't know. And I don't know what a demonstration is. Like <coughs> anyone could go and stand outside the courthouse, right? I guess you just can't be like, here's my opinion on the Karen Reed case. You, I don't know if you just have to stand there in silence or what, but yeah, that's what you're allowed to do. Will you be streamed tomorrow? Yes, we will actually have a stream tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Oh, News Nation. All the Republicans watch it and are aware of it. Okay, so it's a right-wing network. Okay, cool. That's fine. I don't care. I just want to get the story out to as many people as possible. And honestly, a, a right-wing audience would be generally more supportive of police to begin with. So that's good that we're making those inroads. The chili at Dedham Jail was the bomb. It was the bomb. Wicked bomb. 
Shout out to uh, CEO Rocco. Making that in there. Um, pulling in the bar stool audience, bro. Fireside chat with Jerry T. Yeah, I got to talk to Jerry. You can protest until the trial. It definitely says that. You can't protest during the trial. So I suppose, I suppose you could protest before 9 o'clock until the trial starts, right? Oh, Jessica Machado says she has a story dropping tomorrow in the comments. That should be a very interesting story. wonder what that's about. We'll, pay, we'll see. We'll see what that's about tomorrow. Uh, she writes, she's the great reporter from Fall River uh, Reporter who has been covering a lot of my case, exposing the truth that no other media outlet seems to be interested in publishing. So that's good. Um, okay. I'm a Republican living in Los Angeles and I support Karen Reed 100%. She is innocent. God bless you. God bless you. Awesome. Oh, Bryant, uh, what's his name, is on News Nation. Um, I know exactly what I'm thinking of. Bryant Ent. One of Krusty's trolls came from down south to tell protesters he was posting today. Yeah, I mean, whatever. We can't protest, so. <laughs> I mean, you could, but you would you risk ending up like me, going to county for 60 days. It's weird how Auntie Bev has no reactions to the lying DA lie. Yeah, it is interesting. I just all this stuff has no effect on her. And I listened to it again. That part where like he's just on a roll, Yanetti, and then she's just like, "So does the stenographer need a break? You look like you need a break. It's hot in here." Brian Enton, that's his name. Yes, very good. Yeah, it's just wild. And I was watching Melanie Little's reaction to it because she's obviously an attorney. And and she's just perplexed by it, man. Judges I've 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 heard from on this case, lawyers I've heard from on this case, they're just blown away by her courtroom demeanor and her apathy, which it's just like, is, is it apathy or is it corruption? It's just I don't get it with her, you know? But we're stuck with her. If the off chance Karen is found guilty, what are the plans to get her freed afterwards? Well, I would assume her attorneys would file an immediate appeal. I don't know how that would work. Um, but the feds, I mean, there's always the feds too, you know, like the, Fe it, it, the feds know Karen Reed didn't do this and they're not going to let her go to trial. I mean, not gonna, they're not going to let her rot away in prison. Clearly, they're going to let her go to trial. Clearly, that's going to happen. And when they said that the feds can't in good faith let this go to trial, what they meant by that was like, we're going to like release our findings of this case and we assume any normal judge or district attorney would just drop the charges. But clearly they under they underestimated the amount of corruption in this county. What's up, Erica? How you doing? Excellent. Instead of protesting, hand out jury nullification pamphlets. Okay. Um, what channel is News Nation on? I suppose that depends on your cable provider. All right. Um Okay. Yeah, she was pissed about the break. I mean, it, it was just unheard of. I mean, it's just so obvious. Like, no one was asking for a break there. And she's just like, let's have a break. Like, what? All right, anyone have any questions before I get back to chilling out? Just wanted to do a little impromptu live here. What's your favorite food? I don't know, prison chili. Do they televise jury selection? No, they can't show jurors' faces. They can't show jurors. Anyone going tomorrow? Is anyone out there heading down there tomorrow? We'll see. <coughs> Sleep well, McAlberts. Uh, how many days will it take to see the jury? I thought it would take two or three days, but the Rocco's told me two or three weeks, so we'll see. When are you in Lemonster? I go to Lemonster all the time, man. It's where, it's where my Walmart is. There will be a huge police presence tomorrow. I know Wellesley cops that have bicycle details from 9 to 3. Yeah, it is going to be a wild. It's going to be like a police state down there. The grant debate should be on law and order tomorrow. They should release it. I don't know if they're going to be online or what, but.
This is why I only do Facebook Live because YouTube just craps out of me. I got like a reconnect there. But uh, anyway, was the cheer comp at the New Balance track? No, it was in Fitchburg. Some game on in Fitchburg, I think. I wanted to go. I really wanted to go. But Sean of the Gulf had a great panel tonight, including Olivia. I didn't see Olivia on there. I saw some woman on there. I didn't, <laughs> didn't look like Olivia. Um, okay. All right. Anyway, I guess uh, it's I've been to jail for. If you've been to jail for justice, you're a friend of mine. Thanks, Bob. Anyway, uh, my cash app is dollar sign Uncle Turtle Boy. I can't read any because I'm using my phone right now. Uh, but they're always appreciated. Not gonna lie. But uh, Olivia was in the chat. Okay, cool. Do you know if Auntie Bed knows who Higgins is now? Barely. And she also asked this weird question. She's like, "How old was Colin?" Albert, when this happened, like she knew the answer. Like she was, I swear to God, she's working for them. I don't trust her at all. Mystery coughing lady putting down a glass. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. Um, what's the plan to remove the RO? Uh, you know, we have a hearing for that on Thursday. We're going to make next Thursday. We're going to make our case. And I feel like we got a good case. Your friend needs pineapple juice. Yeah, there's, I'd say so. I'd say so. All right. Um, don't forget when she was fishing for who their witness was. All right. All right, cool. Anyone else have any questions or anything before I call it a night and, and get to work? Stop it. You guys are cracking me up, these comments. She made a phone call during that break. Absolutely, maybe, maybe. All right. It was, why was Plevin in Canton today? I don't know. I don't pay attention to Plevin. That's that's Sean of the Gulf's territory. Um. I try not to listen to anything Plevin has to say. Man, do I got bags in the rise? Do I look tired or some shit? Damn, son. Anyway, all right, cool. Looks like, uh, guess what? Shut the fuck up. I heard there's no witnesses allowed at all during the trial. That means the McAlberts can't pretty much be there at all. But I'm really looking forward to this, man. It's fucking time. Starts tomorrow, dude. Time to fuck. Let's go. Mm. Yeah, fuck. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to call it a night then. And, uh... We'll stream this tomorrow, day one of the trial, of two months of this shit, I guess. So say a prayer for Karen Reed and her family and, and for John O'Keefe and his family. Well, for his family too, fuck it. But for John O'Keefe especially, all right? And uh, we just tune in tomorrow. You'll get the notification, all right? Peace, Turtle Riders.